up, makers? My name is Luke. Today we're going to get a little bubbly and make some lava bottles. The lava bottle allows us to explore molecular polarity using simple household materials. Water, oil, food coloring, and Alka-Seltzer. Molecular polarity sounds confusing, but it is just how much one molecule is attracted to another molecule with the same structure. For example, water molecules are attracted to other water molecules. Oil molecules are attracted to other oil molecules. Molecules can either be hydrophilic, water-loving, or hydrophobic, water-fearing. Molecules with high polarity are hydrophilic, and they mix well with other polar molecules. Supplies. You will need vegetable oil, a water bottle, water, a funnel, food coloring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. Step one. First, fill the bottle one-fourth of the way full with water. Now, fill the bottle three-fourths of the way full with oil. Leave about one inch at the top. Step two. Now we're going to add the food coloring. I chose to add about 20 drops of food coloring to my lava bottle, but experiment with different amounts to see how it changes the color of yours. After you add your food coloring, gently swirl the bottle. But remember, we don't have the top on, so be very careful. This will help the food coloring escape to the bottom. Food coloring is mostly water, so it is attracted to the other water molecules. Now, let's wait. Let the food coloring and water mix together. Step three, break apart the Alka-Seltzer tablet into a few pieces. Insert one piece at a time. When the Alka-Seltzer is added, it sinks to the bottom and dissolves, creating a gas. As the gas's bubbles rise, they take some of the colored water with them. When the blob of colored water reaches the top, the gas escapes and the water drops back down to the bottom. Remember, the oil and water do not mix because of molecular polarity. The oil stays above the water because it is lighter than the water, or less dense than the water. Oil and water cannot connect or bond together because they have different molecular structures. After a few moments, the tablet will dissolve and the bubbles will die down, but to bring your bottle back to life, just insert another tablet to keep the lava flowing. You can experiment with your lava bottle by tinkering with a few things. Firstly, does changing the temperature of your water make the bubbles last longer or make more bubbles? What happens if you put the cap on the bottle after you put in the Alka-Seltzer? And lastly, how does the size of the bottle affect the number of bubbles produced? Be curious and experiment. Thanks for watching this video. Share your creation online using the hashtag ITeachMaker. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at KSUITeach. And follow us on social media at iTeachMakerBus. See you later, makers. Stay groovy. <laughs>